Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online Guide where today we're going to be taking a look at the different bomb types that you can drop from the aeroplanes in the Smuggler's Run DLC so let's get right to the guide shall we? So as you may or may not know, for those who are lucky enough to own one of the Smuggler's Run planes and still has the cash to dish out on some upgrades, you can change the kind of payload that your plane carries in flight. There are currently four kinds of bombs that these planes can carry, there's the standard explosive, the incendiary, the gas, and finally the cluster bomb. Basically, this video is going to show off the effects of these bombs by simply dropping them on this sorry bunch of people over here, as well as some police to see what effects the bombs have on both personnel and vehicles and see which of them is the most effective at ending lives. So let's get this thing started, shall we? So let's begin by dropping the standard bomb types over everyone. As you might have guessed, these bombs will do just that. They'll just explode with no after effects and cause no lasting damage after the initial explosion. If they even manage to survive, that is. These alone are enough to make carrying bombs on your plane worth it considering the price and the amount of bombs that the planes can carry. So now we know how standard bombs deal their damage, let's now move on to incendiary bombs. Let's see how much fire we can create on the drop zone and ultimately how much damage we can deal to everyone here. Eh, kind of disappointing. I was kind of hoping for something reminiscent of what you'd see in those old action movies where they drop napalm, you know the ones. It'd be a bit overpowered so I can understand that, but this is just crap. Moving on, let's take a look at gas bomb, shall we? Ah, now this is much more devastating. The initial explosion isn't what's dangerous here, but obviously the lined cloud of gas that people won't be able to walk through unless they want to choke on their own blood. Gas bombs could come in handy if you have to complete a mission which requires the well-being of a vehicle while killing personnel that are surrounding said vehicle. You could also strategically drop lines of bombs in certain areas to block access for people momentarily, unless of course they're willing to take a lot of damage. So now that we know that gas is a pretty good bomb to carry, let's finally take a look at Cluster bombs. Hmm, you may be asking, dude, those aren't cluster bombs, that's just another standard bomb. You're lying to me. Oh, I assure you, that was a cluster bomb strike. You have to look very carefully to see the differences between a standard bomb strike and a cluster bomb strike, which is why I highly ill-advise getting cluster bombs, since there's pretty much no difference compared to standard bombs, except maybe a little extra damage against armoured vehicles, which will take more than one explosion to take down. The extra price of a cluster bomb doesn't seem that worth it looking at these test results, but in any case, my conclusion for this test would be to just stick with either standard or gas bombs. And I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Power Realm Gaming channel for loads more videos coming to you very soon. See you around, everyone.